from Chicago, and they're very funny. Uh, please give it up for the improv troupe, Chairs. My name is Gavin Dunnellen. Melissa McNamara. And we are Chairs. Chairs. Good, if you like us, check us out on Facebook. And all we need to begin is a suggestion of anything at all. Scarecrow. Scarecrow, I love it, thank you. <laughs> We had the biggest harvest this year. There were like, there were so many pumpkins that like the pumpkins all went bad and had this like old pumpkin smell. You know like when a pumpkin goes real bad and some shithead kid hasn't hairsprayed it yet and blown it up? It has like that smell that you're like, oh, I need to throw that pumpkin out. It's gross. Yeah, yeah. It's disgusting. But Mary Ann here makes one hell of a pie. I do make a great pie. She does. She makes, well, pumpkin pie. Only pumpkin, pumpkin pies. I don't make any other pies. No. Her apple pies? <laughs> but I make a great pumpkin pie. Blue ribbon pumpkin pies. Amazing pumpkin pies. Yeah. You don't need to talk about my other pumpkin pies. Your other what pies? My other pies. The other pies? The other pies. What pie? Nothing. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, last week, uh, uh, Mary, she brought her pie to, to, to the, the Harvest Social. And she put a pie out there. Well, she actually put two pies out there. One to show and one to eat. And everyone ate the one to show. <laughs> Oops. It was frozen. Because <laughs> they look better when they're frozen, right? Most things right? do. <laughs> Most Dead things people. They always <laughs> Frozen dead person. Really, warm people who are dead look weird. <laughs> frozen ones look fresh. <laughs> it's true. We're from Kentucky, so. <laughs> we see a lot of dead people. <laughs> Not like the movie. <laughs> right? Sometimes he crosses a line. Do you see what I have to do? I did, not cross, did I cross the line? Yes. I crossed the line? I'm 20 so years sorry. of marriage, and this is what I gotta deal with. <laughs> you can come back now. Are you sure? You know, the third time I tried to enter the bedroom, every single time you're like, gotcha, get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> if you say the right things to me, then you can come back in. <laughs> Specifically, by the right things, I mean those three specific things that you know you're supposed to say before you come into the bed with me. One, I will not fart tonight. <laughs> Two, I will not cover your face in the blanket and try to think it's funny. <laughs> Three, I will not call all my friends and gloat about having given you what is commonly known as a Dutch oven. <laughs> Look at, look, we can put this in the living room. 
living room. It looks soft. You don't see it. Fine, you pick one up. You pick one up, fine. I, I, I'm so tired of Ikea. <laughs> Swedish meatballs for six hours and all I can find is that same fucking couch. I feel lost in here. Right? I feel like I'm stuck in a labyrinth. Right? I mean, it's like the bathroom is this way according to the sign and then you go under the sign and it says the bathroom is this way. So unless I pee on the line on the floor, there's no bathroom there. Can we just buy this couch? Look at this couch. It's fancy. You like floral patterns. <laughs> I like. Just sit on it and find out. Just sit on it. Oh, I feel funny about public places. Sitting on couch. Just sit on the couch. But what if somebody else sat on it? Well, they probably <laughs> did. Just sit on the couch. But what if they sat on it and they had like really? Look weird... how ready it is for you to sit on it. <laughs>
if my inappropriate puppet dancing at awkward moments is not the problem. Carol, you know it's not about the puppetry. Then... I always thought that was a Lori. <laughs> <laughs>
green corn, and I'm never going to eat it, but it's on sale. <laughs> Well, I'll have a soup buck and cream corn. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta eat the fucking pot. <laughs> <laughs> 